If you want to hear my thoughts on Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Skin Tint, <laughs> then stay tuned. Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a review. So I'm going to do like a wear test and a review of the new Shiseido Self Oh Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Skin Tint. Now I love uh, Shiseido products so far. Everything that I've tried so far. I have liked so I and I love skin tint so this was kind of a no-brainer and I've had this for a few weeks actually just haven't got around to trying it but for, I thought today rather than doing a full face of new products I'm just going to give this the opportunity to shine I want you to see what it looks like on my skin type I want you to see how it wears then I want to give you my final thoughts so let's get straight into it so this retails for 29 pounds is it 29? 29.75 no it's 35 pounds it's on offer at the moment of boots actually in the UK but it retails for £35. I actually got mine from Cult but it is on Boots in the UK and I'm pretty sure you can get it anywhere in the US because you guys get everything anywhere in the US. Okay so some details about the product. Okay so it's a fresh weightless skin tint that synchronizes with skin to provide light coverage, balancing skin texture and tone while letting your natural skin shine through. Reaching active force technology which actively resists heat and humidity and oil and motion this tinted moisture the self refreshes non stop for a fresh, natural finish that lasts all day. This hybrid formula contains 70% skincare ingredients, deliver an instant burst of hydration and hydrated, nourished skin for 24 hours. Uh, shades are flexible to work across different skin tones. It says it's got 12 hour wear, 24 hour hydration. There's lots of asterisks. Okay, near the act. <laughs> It says 97% of women agreed that skin can feel lightweight on skin. Okay, so it's got all these massive claims. It claims to be shine resistant, transfer resistant, resists sweat and humidity. We'll find out because I'm a sweaty bedding. Fragrance free, crease proof, waterproof, light coverage, 24, as I said, 24 hydration, 24 hour hydration and 12 hour wear. All right, so that was a mouthful, but we got through it. Now, I really, really, really enjoy um, shade of products. So this was kind of like a no brainer for me. So the color I got is 525 deep i went on the actual website to figure out what um color i was purely because on retailers it's it's not clear at all and even then it's to be fair it's looking a little bit dark so this is what the packaging looks like Ta -da -da. here we go and it's looking a little dark but where it's a tint i'm not as concerned as getting the uh match perfect so here we go oh, yeah i'm right i think it's gonna be a bit dark can you even see that? Um, there we go. Yeah, I think it's going to be a little bit dark. But we could for finesse. We could finesse it. Okay, so it's quite a thick consistency. I'm just going to, if I do that and. Okay. This feels like, um, I think it's a pink base. Okay, not bad. Not bad. All right, let's just slap it on. Do you know what's really weird actually? I've just done that. And look at my finger barely any product like it's really weird normally you get to see the color but so it's obviously not ridiculously pigmented that's interesting all right very interesting all right so i have prepped my face with the what's this bobby brown face base i've also used the elf putty primer and then i set all of that with the laura mercier uh powder so we're going to stick it on my pad here my trusty dusty pad which is a little bit dirty so we're going to stick it on there Let's go. We'll start with that, that much. Oh, that looks good. And then what I'm gonna do is what I always do, I'm just gonna dab it um, all over my face and then I'm going to blot it and see where we go with it. So you guys can get a better look. Okay, so we will. Hmm. Doesn't actually look too bad like this. But the proof. Is in okay yeah this is mm, this one's funny <laughs> but this is um very sheer look at that wow so this is the side with just dabs on it hope you can still see my skin through it's like it's perfected it like it's perfected it but it still looks like skin so far interesting that blended really easily. 
All right, what I'm gonna do is, as you can see, I have a birthmark, is it on, sorry, it's on the side of my face. Let's see what it does there. I'm not bothered about covering it, but I just think it's always interesting to use that birthmark as a marker for coverage. It's still peeping through, so it's definitely sheer. I actually quite like this so far. The coverage is beautiful. All right, comment on the other side and be right back. Okay, so this is me completely blended out. I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see the skin. So far, so good, I quite like it. You can still see, like, I know I always say to you guys, I've got like these tiny uh, spots on my, on my face, like these tiny dark marks. I'm not sure if you can see them like here. If I wear full coverage, it usually covers it. But for the most part, I wear sh uh, sheer, so you can usually see it peeking through it, and you can. But, it just gives the skin this kind of perfection but natural. So I'm quite enjoying that so far. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my eye makeup, I'm, and then what I'll do is once I'm at the point where I need to set the foundation, I will pop back on camera for that so you can see what I use and how light or heavy I go. So that gives you an idea of later on the wear. But so far, so good. Has darkened me ever so slightly, but I don't mind that to be fair. I'm gonna darken myself with bronzer anyway. But yeah, so far so good. I am not mad. Let's see how she wears. Okay, back, and as promised, I'm about to set my, uh, the inside of my face and the outside of my face, so I thought I'd come back on camera. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in Honey. I'm gonna use, I don't set too heavily because my under eye gets dried in the Sahara, so a little bit there. And I always start by putting most of the product away from my under eye and then going underneath. Just so that I know I don't put too much product. Mm -hmm. So far so good, I really like this foundation. I took an age to um, set it and it hasn't creased at all. It's very interesting. It looks very skin-like. I am enjoying it so far. And that natural sheen, that's the skin tint. Okay, cool. Now I'm just gonna do the outside of my face and I think today I want something really, really, really light. So I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder. Look, I've hit pan on something. Me. So I'm going to take this brush here. Do you know what? No, 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 no. I'm actually gonna use, I'm use Giorgio Armani and it's really feather light. So I'm gonna use that and just stamp everywhere that I haven't put. And I like it because it's so feather light, it doesn't look like you're wearing powder. But un unlike my under eye, which you can tell has been set, this doesn't look like you're wearing powder. It's so lightweight. This is why I like to use it. Okay. So I'm gonna back with the final look, then we'll do some check-ins, then you'll get final thoughts. Else. So this is the finished look. It's giving skin. <laughs> it's giving sheen, it's giving glow, it's giving radiance, it's giving health. It's giving colour match. It's giving please wear really well because you can't be this good to me at this point and then wear for only two hours and disappoint me. This is so beautiful. Let's get in close. Let me let me show you what's going on. Just as another thing as well, I don't use filters when I film, mainly because I don't know how to. Be honest, I don't edit my videos. I have an editor who edits my videos. Shout out to girl, hey baby. So and I know she doesn't put any filters on, and we both agree that it's just better to be able to see my brain. No, I'm just joking. But it's better just to see things as they are. So zoom in. So this is it on the skin. Don't look in my brain. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna zoom out now because this is hella uncomfortable. But yeah, happy with that. Okay, so at this point, I've had this on for about an hour. Because that's how long it took me to do my hair, to do my makeup. I also filmed um, the a review for Pat McGrath's Mega on the eyes. Please and thank you. But yeah, I'm gonna do some check-ins and we're gonna see how this wears. And then I'll be back 
Uh, yeah, I'll be back to give you my final thoughts. I might just film that on my iPhone now because I'm going to dinner. And I might forget, so. <laughs> but so far, so good. This is a, another banger. Yeah, love it. Okay, so I'm home. I've had this makeup on for approximately um, six hours. Lipstick's gone because you know <laughs> was eating. So that's my daughter in the shower. Um, yeah, held up okay. It's the kind of foundation. I mean, I know it's only a tint, but it's the kind of thing that I know wouldn't last much more. It's like it's just disappearing. I can't explain it. It's like it's just it's disappearing. I mean, it looks good, but I can tell it's just disappearing. Like my birthmark's coming through. Yeah, it's disappearing. So it's the kind of thing I think you could get top seven, eight hours good wear out of it. So it's maybe more, not for a full day's wear. You're not wearing this to work. You're wearing this for a quick trip to lunch, that kind of thing. But I love it. And I got a lot of compliments. Oh, sorry. I got a lot of compliments today on how natural my makeup looks considering i'm wearing like full glam let's be honest yeah so as i was saying i got a lot of compliments considering it's like um sorry put my hand again considering it's more or less a full beat there was some um i'm gonna cut this short okay because my kids it's that time in the evening and my kids are like refusing to be quiet can you hear them so yeah final thoughts it's fine it's nice it's not long wear it's not all day it said 12 hours i would say tops you're gonna get eight flawlessness before it starts to um dissipate but i'm not mad at this this is the kind of thing i'd wear like to lunch at lakeside with my girls or in the evening i wouldn't wear it for a full day of work but i got a lot of compliments on how natural the foundation looks i didn't look big even though I am. <laughs> so I, I, I can see it being a favorite. I need to play with it a bit more, but I can see it being a favorite. Mm. Okay, so if you like my video, please like, please subscribe, please share if you care, and I will see you in the next. Yeah, my 